a little crazy with the sparkles. Hi, this is Allie from Technic Alley Speaking, and today I'm going to show you my old spin on John Park's Snow Globe by adding a circuit, Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. So the way I'm doing this project is I'm adding a lot of different elements such as coding and crafting and 3D printing and putting them all together will probably be really fun. So some of the parts that are needed are a make your own snow globe kit which comes with this um, outer part, the bottom and the seal right here and you can actually get those at the dollar store such as Dollar Tree and stuff. And I also have a 3D printed like Thing that you're going to put inside. I just did the chrome t-rex because I thought that would be super amazing. What I'm going to put inside of my snow globe this time is going to be this chrome dinosaur. It's actually called on Thingiverse Dino Chrome by Gerat and I printed it on my um, Prusa i3 MK2 um, 3D printer and it turned out really cool. I just used a navy blue filament that I got off of Amazon and it turned out really good. I did have to resize it so that it would fit inside the snow globe but that you may have to do with any of your prints. So for the Joelbot snow globe I created, it was really hard to figure out how to stick Joelbot to the bottom so that he wouldn't float around randomly in the snow globe. And I tried a number of different things. First I tried Quick Bond, which is like a UV reactive glue that you can use um, to stick 3D prints to each other, or that's what I use it for anyway. Um, but that didn't work, and so I tried sanding off the bottom so that it would have more of a rough surface since this is kind of smooth. Oops. This is kind of smooth. So then, even that didn't work, so I tried hot glue, and that still didn't work. So I ended up just using this 3M adhesive, and I cut off a bit of it, and just stuck it on the bottom of where his feet are, on this one. So that when you, um, when you just stick it on the middle here, then you can stick him on top, or whatever your 3D print is, I guess. And it should stay pretty well. So, in the kit that this comes with, with the snow globe and stuff, then it suggests that for sealing um, this into this spot, then it suggests that you glue with hot glue around this. Now, I would not suggest this to anyone because it's not very good, it leaks everywhere, and hot glue is not the best waterproof material, or anti-leak material, I guess. So instead, I uh, came up with an idea to use Teflon tape, or like plumbing thread seal tape. So when using the Teflon tape, I would suggest putting it around this part three, um, three times to ensure that it won't leak. And it would be helpful if you have an extra pair of hands because it's actually really slippery. It's not sticky at all. But it's made to ensure that things don't leak. So it'll work pretty good. Now it's time to add the glitter. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white. And I'm using really fine glitter. So it's going to be kind of small. And if I can get any, I'm also going to add some blue. This is the messy part. So now it's time to insert your base and whatever you're gonna put in the snow globe. Ta-da! It's really amazing how much bigger it looks once you get it inside because of the water bending the light. He has a bubble in his eyeball. <laughs> so what I did with Joelbot and what I'm doing with it now is I set it on a plate for just to make sure that it was absolutely not leaking any water. For the Dinosaur Chrome Snow Globe, I decided that I would add lights and sound by adding this Adafruit Circuit Playground to the bottom, which when you turn it on and shake it, it will sing the Jurassic Park theme song and have a bunch of different lights. 
let's start programming. So the site that you visit in order to program your circuit playground is you go to makecode.adafruit.com and it's free to use and it's really simple to use and this is some of the code that I use to make the um, Joelbot theme song for my snow globe. And it also has some lights and this is the music so when it's shaken then it should play the song. So I just downloaded the code onto the computer, so now I'm going to show it in the folder and take it and just drag it into the circuit playground. It works! So now that we have our circuit playground lights and music in order to show off, now what we need to do is melt a hole into the base of the snow globe um, with a soldering iron so that I can feed this wire through so that it can be on the base and light up our snow globe like this. So now let's see if it fits. All right, it does. So now I'm going to add the circuit playground, which I put sticky tack on the bottom, um, cause I don't want it to be permanent at this point, but so that it'll stay in place in the bottom here. And then I'm going to plug it in. Oops, or I can just plug it in first. And now I'm going to turn it on. And put the top on. And now you've got an epic light up singing snow globe. So, I know that you thought that the T Rex snow globe was really cool, but the thing that you've all been waiting for is this Joelbot snow globe. So, basically, Joel Telling, 3D printing nerd, is super awesome. He does like all these reviews for 3D printers and stuff. And A Pyro Designs designed a Joelbot. 3D design out of him and everybody who has a 3D printer has probably been printing them and you might even have one if you've been printing Joelbots. Um, but I decided that Joelbots are cool but a Joelbot snow globe would be even cooler. So Joelbot snow globe is pretty cool and I bet you're wondering what song it plays. Let's find out. <laughs> 